how can we trace an image into a vector illustration using Affinity Designer. In general, there are two methods. Manual one, when you simply redraw the whole image using vector tools, and automatic one, when you use some kind of auto trace. Unfortunately, auto trace is not available in this software. So, as it is right now, Affinity Designer version 2.5, there's no auto trace. You can try to simply redraw it all by hand using stuff like a pen tool and then you trace over this image you try to draw it around make this into a similar style as that image and this way you can step by step turn this into a vector illustration by hand we call this a manual trace of course you don't need to draw it everything perfectly in the first go there's a node tool for us so we can select the nodes after we can modify them very quickly very nicely and it's doable especially useful for logos and symbols that need to be very very precise all right so that's possible we can retrace everything and got a vector version but i know most of you guys want some kind of quick method so unfortunately we cannot do it within the program but we can use a website to help ourselves so here i am on photopea.com i'll just drag and drop my illustration and i can now auto trace within this free software image vectorize bitmap okay and we got a vector version of it now we can save it as svg so file export as svg that was quick no logging in no waiting be careful that like top 10 spots when you just search in google how to vectorize image for free all of them are paid they are paid programs but photopy is still free so that's what i use for this example and let's drag in back this new SVG file. Here it is. I'm going to zoom in to compare. We can see it straight away. Original one is pixel base, and the new version is a nice vector base. More than that, it's SVG. So now we can actually double tap on it and see all of the building elements. If I wanna modify colors, it's so quick with SVGs, right? Because they're native to vector editing software like Affinity Designer. So here it is, there are two methods. You can use pen tool and retrace everything by hand, or you can use some outside websites like photopea.com, quickly convert bitmap to vector and then save it as svg and drag it back into your affinity designer to continue on working with vectors i hope this is helpful see you in the next tutorial